And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Rugops, which was a request from Cole via Patreon. So thanks, Cole. The name means wrinkle face. <laughs> makes me think of a very a wizened dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> it's a theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Africa. It was discovered in 2000 in Niger by Paul Serrano and a team and was a big breakthrough in knowing how theropods evolved in Africa. And it was named in 2004. The type species is Rugops primus, which means first wrinkle face. <laughs> so only a skull has been found, but it was first estimated to be 20 feet or 6 meters long based on comparisons to relatives. It's now estimated to be 14 feet or 4.4 meters long. The ever-shrinking dinosaur phenomenon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the skull had arteries and veins, which is what gave it this wrinkled appearance. And the blood vessels may have given Rugops some display features not seen in other theropods that may have made it look scarier or more threatening, or maybe it allowed it to blush in its snout. Which, I mean, we've talked before about like stegosaurus could blush and ankylosaurus could blush or maybe ceratopsians or in the stegosaurus in the plates. But it's interesting to think of a carnivorous dinosaur blushing. Mm -hmm. What do they have to be embarrassed about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that kind of blushing. I know. <laughs> so the skull had two rows of seven holes, which may have been spots for a crest or horns, though it's unknown for sure. And the skulls had scales on it kind of armor and paul serrano said it may be a scavenger quote it's not the kind of head designed for fighting or bone crushing end quote and rugops is in a abelosaurid which they tend to have weaker bite forces and rugops teeth seem to be weaker than other abelosaurids it probably had short arms which would have helped balance its large head it was the first abelosaurid found in africa other abelosaurids have been found in South America and India, and Rugops shows that South America, India, and Africa were once connected. Before Rugops, scientists thought that Africa had split off from Gondwana much earlier, like 120 million years. Now they think it didn't drift apart until 95 to 100 million years ago. You can see Rugops in the first episode of Planet Dinosaur, which is the BBC series, and it's depicted as a scavenger. And you can also see it in Monsters Resurrected, which is a Discovery Channel series. Rugops was one of the species whose DNA was used to create Indominus Rex in Jurassic World as well, so you can kind really? of see traits of it, I guess. Yeah. So Rugops was an abelosaur, and abelosauridae means Abel's lizards. It's a clad of ceratosaurian theropods that lived in the Jurassic and Cretaceous in Gondwana, so Africa, South America, India, and Madagascar. And Jose Bonaparte and Fernando Novas named it in... 1985, when they described Abelosaurus, which was named after Roberto Abel, who discovered it. It was bipedal and carnivorous, and it had short hind limbs and ornamentation on the skull bones, and the skulls were generally tall and shallow. It had four digits on the hands, and they were also part of the group Ceratosaurus. 